Hello, Ultimate fans, and welcome to Atlanta, Georgia, the 11th stop for the Next Gen Tour. And Next Gen All-Stars is taking on Atlanta's Chain Lightning. An exciting game today. It's Next Gen, fresh off a loss against Ring of Fire. Now to take on the strong program of Chain Lightning. Like we have next gen starting on offense and chain will pull. To start off the game, chain lightning on defense. Next gen all stars on offense. Defensive line for chain. We have Andrew Hollingsworth, Jay Clark. David Berendez, John Frito Monforti, Joel Wooten, Jolian Dahl, and Elliot Erickson. Offensive line for the bus, Atlanta Chain's own Nick Lance, and Jacob Janin, Matt Rader. Tommy Lee, Colin Camp, Tyler G. Girolamo, and Alex Thorne fielding the pull. This game is underway. Vertical stack, and Tommy Lee immediately going to Nick Lance. Jolene Dahl is on him. That disc has float, and a great play by Nick Lance. Over the bidding, Jolene Dahl. With that. Dumps it off to Jacob, Jacob Jannon. Jannon in the end zone. Next Gen takes the lead. And four pass offense from the Next Gen All Stars as Tommy Lee rips it deep. Great play from Nick Lance, keeping the defender on his back. And a great start for the bus here. Beautiful sunny day in Atlanta. Glad to be out of that rain. We are at Emory College in the Emory Soccer Complex. And Chain's offensive line walks on to start this game. Down there we have Sam Gaynor, Jared Enzelman, Greg Swanson, Dylan Tunnell, Mark Poole. Jimmy Mickle to pull for next gen. Asa Wilson and Russell Snow. Jimmy Mickle polling. Nice float. It's fielded by Swanson. The middle of his end zone. Cool upfield, holstering that hug. Pick called on the field, Swanson with the disc. Asa Wilson on the sideline, and he puts a backhand. Bobbled catch. And on the dump, not getting it in. Next gen, already with a chance to break early in this game. Tommy Lamar with the disc. Mickle, vertical stack from the bus. Eric Johnson. Saves a Callahan attempt from Ben Spears. And free child. <laughs> Jared Enzelman getting the D, missed throw from free child, and then walking up the field. That's not going to stand. Travel called. Enzelman getting the disc back for Chain's offense. They're just outside the goal line. 
Reset to Swanson. And Swanson on the inside break to Inselman. Swanson finds Jared Inselman. After a turn, Shane gets Shane it back. Ties it at one. And they tie this game one to one. In the 2011 Next Gen Tour, Chain was one of the most exciting games to watch. A close game, Chain Lightning being a very strong team in the national program, winning the championship in 2009. Last year, they lost in semifinals against Ironside on a double game point loss. A strong program. And in the stop last year, Next Gen almost taking the win, but a few late game errors, Chain was able to clean up. We're excited to see how this one turns out. Halfway through the tour again, Next Gen feeling strong. On offense, Nick Lance with the disc. Great break, getting it all the way to the sideline to Camden Allison Hall. A zone look from Chain, not guarding anyone, any of the disc, I should say. And then Tyler DiGirolamo. Tyler DiGirolamo finds Nick Lance. Finding Nick Lance Next deep. Gen scores. They take the lead two, Chain one. Nick Lance, great cutting against his home team. Already taking the first two deep looks. That time, getting past the zone. No one saw him in the back. No turn so far from the next gen offense. They are up two to one. Offensive line for Chain, Dylan Tunnell, Greg Swanson. Looks like Sam CK is on that line. Jared Enzelman, Asa Wilson, and Mark Poole. Dylan Tunnell immediately going deep. Can't find his receiver. <laughs> Getting the disc right back after missing the huck. Greg Swanson, all the way over the top, just misses Mark Poole. Two throws, two turnovers. Next in D, back in possession of the disc. Looking for the first break in this game. Eric Johnson walking it to the cone. Eric Johnson going deep to Jimmy Mickle. He's got Enzelman on his back, but Mickle making a great play, reeling that in in the end zone. And the first break goes to Next Gen. In that point, we had Sam Gaynor missing the deep ball, but then getting it back on defense. Greg Swanson turning it over again. And no mistakes this time for the next gen defense. As they put it in, first break up three to one.
Same offensive line for Chain, Wilson, Swanson, Tanell, Poole, Inzelman, Gaynor, and Sam CK. Excuse me, that is not ex-Sockeye player Sam CK in the seventh slot. Nick Lance with the pull. That is, in fact, Ben Spears. Now to Vert Stack. Poole gets it in the front to Tunnell. Tunnell, another deep look, looking for Spears. Camden Allison Hall is there. Great job by Ben Spears, keeping Allison Hall on his back. That disc coming over his head, certainly tough to read. Camden Allison Hall right there making a great play, but unable to get a hand on the disc. Dylan Tunnell, two big flick hucks. He's an exciting player to watch. He's a UPA college championship, sorry, a UPA club championship under his belt in 2009. <laughs> Earlier in the summer in 2009, he was on the Team USA mixed team that went on to win gold. Big mainstay here on Chain Lightning. With the pull for Chain. And now Chain's D-line, hoping to get one of those breaks back. Horizontal stack from the bus. They're seeing this Chain junk again. Chain doing a much better job getting onto the disc. Tommy Lee splitting the gap. Kacha with the disc. DiGeralmo looking off a huck. Haas gets it off the sideline. Chain now in man. Resets all the way to Raider. Haas going deep, and Raider's gonna get him. It's floating. Michael Aronson is there. But Philip Haas reeling it in. Next chance scores, they take the lead, 4-2. Great offensive point. Philip Haas going deep off, Dusty, from, the the <laughs> from the handler position. Swings it all the way to Raider. From the far side, goes all the way upfield. Not normally found in the end zone. Strong handler from Germany. But that time, getting past Michael Aronson. Great goal for next gen. Chain offensive line, Ben Spears, Asa Wilson, Greg Swanson, Sam CK now getting in there. Sam Gaynor. Jared Enzelman and Mark Poole. Jimmy Mickle pulling for next gen. Jimmy Mickle with the pull. Plenty of float, landing right on the goal line. Fielded by Enzelman. Poole getting it off in a high release. Pick. Pick called on the field. A very strange offensive set for Chain. It looks like they're playing a side stack. At least they're set up now. But the side stack keeps on moving. And Asa Wilson putting up a backhand, going for Spears. Spears not able to reel that one in. Jimmy Mickle gets the D. Picking it up quick. Trying to get this disc moving for the offense. Resets to Lance. Thorne, Johnson, J 
Johnson backhand across the field. Jacob Jannon is there. Eric Johnson. Jannon reels it in. Jacob Jannon. Next gen takes Getting the on the break side of Chains Asa two. Wilson. And Eric Johnson getting that one all the way across the field. I love my life. Great backhand throw. I love my life. Another break early in this game. Next gen up. up two breaks as Matt Rader gets set to pull O-line for chain CK Gaynor Tunnell Swanson Pool Inzelman and Wilson Pool Fields up to Gaynor Dylan Tunnell on the sideline a junk look from the bus, but Chain working through it very quickly. Gainer with the disc, up to Swanson, he's right outside. And he's gonna flip that one easy to Sam CK. Hey, Swanson to Sam CK. Chain, Chain finding their offensive rhythm. Next gen still, leads five, Chain three. still down three to five. Chain's a team that's known for their deep throws. As we've seen early in this game, they're willing to take those risks either because they have faith in their big athletes downfield or they have faith in their offense's ability to get the disc back. But that time, different strategy against the zone, playing a lot of short passes, and it seemed to work out a lot better for them. Now the D-line hoping to get something back Jay Clark, Byron Liu, Jolian Dahl, Elliot Erickson, Andrew Hollingsworth polling. Andrew Hollingsworth with the poll. David Berendez and Joel Wooten rounding out the line. Hollingsworth poll Tommy goes Wooten out of bounds. Tommy Lee to take this one at the brick mark. Vertical stack from the bus. Chain looks to be in man defense. At a miscommunication, Tommy Jolian Lee throws Dahl that right to Jolian Dahl. And it goes right back to Jolian Dahl. He catches that one in the end zone. Quick defensive break for Chain. Down only one. Jolien Dahlk making it happen for Chain. Dahl, a former Mama Bird player out of Colorado. Played for Bravo in 2007 when they finished second in club champions. Most recently, he was at the World Games in Japan playing with Great Britain. Dual citizenship the American and Brit, but now he's back with his club team in Atlanta. Big player on the defensive line. He has throws, catches, smarts, he's got it all. Same defensive line for Chain. Julian Dahl Julian with the pole this time. Nick Lance receives it and centers to Dylan Freechild. Lance fields it, centers to Freechild, vertical stack. Freechild trying to go to the break side. 
That one hits the turf. Another short field and a chance for a quick break. Lou with no pressure, able to field that one. Recess to Jolian. Breaks it all the way around to Hollingsworth. Back to Dahl. Pick. Pick call downfield. Dahl 10 yards outside the goal line. Chance to break again and tie this game. Disc is tapped in. And Matt Raider kidding it back. Matt Raider with the D. He is great at that. On the offensive turn, earning the disc back. Goal line stand. Next gen offense. Back running. Free child with the disc. Gets it off to Lance. Jolene Dahl poaching off his man, almost making a play on it. Camp has it upfield. Raider. Lance. Raider. Offense has slowed down a bit. In the vertical stack. Now attacking the break side. And Kotcher, <laughs> nice forehand blade. Over the stack, finding Dylan Freechild. Next one still up a break, six to four. Good defensive stand to save a big momentum changing break. And at 6-4, uh, Next Gen is going to take a timeout. First timeout of the game. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back in just a minute. Welcome back to Atlanta, Georgia. Next Gen All-Stars up against Chain Lightning, 6-4 right now. So far, a pretty even game. Next Gen getting two breaks. And off a next gen offense mistake, Chain gets a break back. Still down two points. D line for the bus Will Driscoll, Philip Haas, Eric Johnson, Camden Allison Hall, Tyler DiGirolamo. Alex Thorne and Tommy Lamar. Thorne polling. Fielded by Greg Swanson. He's going to center to Dylan Tunnell. Side stack, Asa Wilson. And Asa Wilson goes deep immediately. Allison Hall, great bid. But Asa Wilson, very speedy, keeping the lead. Chain down one. Next in six. Six five. Chain five. <laughs> Isolation play from Chain Lightning. <laughs> Dylan to hell. No hesitation to huck the disc. We've talked about Chain's deep game, love of the deep game. High risk, high reward as that offense goes by real smoothly. Now their defensive line back on the field. Seems to be a change of personnel on this defensive line. Michael Aronson, Frank Wooten, Jason Simpson, David Berendez, Russell Snow. John Monforti and Michael Spear rounding out that line. And a short drop, Nick Lance dropping the Aronson. disc. Michael Aronson picking it up on the goal line. 
and then one pass to Michael Spear. And they're Spear. able to get all their breaks Game back. Game tied at six. Game back on serve. Unfortunate short field drops for the bus has given Chain all their break opportunities. That time, Haas going to Lance on the dump. He just drops it on the goal line. Next in offense, hoping to find their feet. Get running again. Defensive line for Chain. Lou Erickson. Frank Wooten. Matt Bailey. Jolian Dahl. Michael Spear. And John Monforti. This goes out of bounds. Philip Haas taking it to the brick. Vertical stack. Man defense. Raider immediately on the live side. Going deep to DiGirolamo. But Elliot Erickson had position the whole way. Fights off DiGirolamo and gets the D. Elliot Erickson, the youngest player on this team at 20 years old. From the University of Georgia. Young star. Already making a huge impact on the D-line. And Matt Bailey on the sideline for a chance for another break. Jolene Dahl up to Erickson. Pick called downfield. Erickson getting around to Dahl. Dahl hammers. Not sure if that was intended to Erickson. Looked like he was going for Lou, but Erickson picks it up outside the goal line. Monforti, or Frito as they like to call him, with the disc. All the way around. Miscommunication as DiGirolamo knocks that one to the ground. Two goal line stands for the bus to save breaks. Jimmy Mickle picking it up. Reset to Haas. Camp in the middle of the field. Haas on the sideline. Not getting a lot of yards. Pick. Having to play the reset a lot. Not getting those deep looks that the next gen offense usually likes to do. Matt Raider on the sideline. Up to Mickle. Free child has steps, but Mickle's going to holster it. But Camp isn't. Floaty just to Free child. He's running out of room on the sideline. And that one child. falls Camp out of bounds. Out of bounds. Frito to pick up for chain. Not enough space. Second turn of this point for the next gen offense. As Frito picks it up at the cone, 70 yards to go. Lou with the disc. Bailey. Frito, and Frito putting a backhand. Erickson, DiGirolamo, and Erickson winning the battle on defense and offense. Getting that point in the break to take Jane into the lead up seven to six. Great point for Elliot Erickson.
Young player getting the D initially on the huck on Tyler DiGirolamo and then getting the better of DiGirolamo again, this time on the offensive side in the end zone, going up a break. Chain defense, chance to break in a half. Jay Clark set to pull, Jason Simpson, Joel Wooten, David Berendez, Andrew Hollingsworth, Mark Poole, Jay Clark with the pull to chain. And that's Russell Snow rounding Coming out the D line. The down center to Nick, Lance. Nick Lance with the disc. Marked by Hollingsworth. And Will Driscoll putting it deep to Jannon. <laughs> Jacob Jannon there, but Joel Wooten, he's got speed and height. Perfect combination. And Mark Poole, the huck to go into half. Will Driscoll gets a hand on it. It looks Will like it was going to keep going. Will Driscoll out of Texas. Lance picks up, marked by Getting the disc back as he'll take the turnover on the flick huck. Offense back in control. A Chris Kotcher leading Will Driscoll. Driscoll scores the goal, making it happen for the offense. Game tied at seven. Chain lightning offense with the point to go into half. Next gen defense. Down a break. Want to take half to put this game back on serve. Offensive line for Chain. We've seen it before. Ben Spears. Sam Gaynor. And it looks like a timeout was called on the field. Both lines wanting to make sure that they're able to get the break in. Game tied at seven going into half. We'll take a break and be with you in a minute. Next in D-line polling. Game tied at seven. Hoping to get the break into half. Inzelman fielding the pole. Centers to Swanson. Inzelman centers to Swanson. Swanson going for Spears. DiGirolamo is there. Spears keeps possession. Travel called as they both ran out Travel the back of the end zone. Spears needs to tap that one in at the line. Pick, Pick called downfield. Swanson with the disc. Inzelman in his dump. Around to Tunnell. Tunnell. Back to Enzelman. Spears. Swanson. Spears getting it under. Seven yards to go. Tunnell with the disc. Pool. Sam CK. Pick called on the field. Pick called. Great patience by the chain offense. They've been relentlessly putting it deep. Now changing gears with an important possession. CK gets it off the sideline. Goes downfield. Enzelman. And Enzelman. Calls a timeout. timeout. Having a tough time getting up field. Anselman is going to take the timeout. Taken out of their normal game. Playing a lot of short passes. 
and what a half and what an important point for both sides. Next in All Stars. Looking to recover from a rough game against Ring. And as we've said, and have many people have noted, the second half of this tour seems to be the more difficult half. Tonight, Chain. Next week, Double Wide, Revolver, Rhino, Sockeye, and Furious. Those are all quarterfinal, semifinal nationals teams in the second half of this tour. And starting out with one of the top three teams from last year, Chain, getting a win now would really set the tone for the second half. And to get that win, they yeah, need to get a break here, the put the game back Run on serve, Johnson. and back in their momentum. Disc now coming back into play, Johnson marking Inzelman to Tunnell. All the way around to Poole. Poole holstering his huck. Centers to Tunnell. All the way around to CK. CK being marked by Matt Rader. Both played on Sockeye back in 2008. And Tunnell going for CK. Rader can't make the play. Just outside the goal line. On the cone, takes a dump to Swanson. Tunnell grabbing that one out of the air and back to CK. Tanell to CK to get the yards and then again to put it into the end zone. Chain Lightning taking half, eight to seven. Tight game here in Atlanta, Georgia. As Chain Lightning makes a small comeback, lots of runs. Should be an exciting second half, an exciting conclusion of this game. Please join us back here in 10 minutes. And welcome back to the second half of the next gen all-star game. Next Gen taking on Atlanta's Chain Lightning here at Emory Stadium. So far in this game, Chain Lightning is up a break. Up 8-7. And you can see the observers and the captains meeting in the middle of the field. I do believe I do believe they might be talking about a lightning storm rolling in. But this game is going to keep going until we see the first flashes. Next in starting on defense, Jimmy Mickle with the pull. And starting off, Chain Lightning on offense. Inzelman with the disc. Around to Wilson. And Wilson trying to go up early. Knocking off his hands. And a great opportunity for next in D-line. Five yards outside the goal line on the corner. They're able to get a break this early in the half. Tied up be huge for them, their momentum. Jimmy Mickle in the center of the field. Back to Jannon. Upfield to Mickle. And he finds DiGirolamo almost in the back of the end zone. That disc coming fast. DiGirolamo unable to make a play on it. He usually has such sure hands. That time it gets past him. And Chain is lucky to get this disc back. Offense with their second possession. Swanson centers the Spears. Back to Swanson. Gets it on the sideline to Inzelman.
Hammer going over the field, pile up. Nick Lance not able to get a piece of it, but enough pressure as that disc falls to the ground. Second opportunity for a break. Johnson with the disc, Lance. Breaks inside to Jannon. Johnson. And Johnson gets Tommy Lamar. Bus defense starting off this game with a break. Great time to step up the defensive pressure. This game is tied eight to eight. Start of the second half. Some trouble with those end zone lines. A brief moment to take them off the field, clarify the field a little bit more. In this moment, we'd like to thank our sponsors Discraft and Patagonia for making the Next Gen 2012 tour possible. We'd also like to thank Elemental Technologies. Elemental Technologies making the live stream happen so you at home can watch this game while the bus travels around the United States. And Inselman dropping the pole. Doesn't matter though, because the next gen D line was offsides. They're going to get a chance to set back up. Offensive line for Chain, Asa Wilson, Dylan Tennell, Greg Swanson, Sam CK, Jared Inselman, Mark Poole. Sam Gaynor as the wind is picking up on the field that pole going into the wind it's not going to get as much distance and goes out of bounds Swanson walking the disc to the middle of the field guarded by Chris Kotcher Goes around, CK on the break side. To now in the middle of the field. Inzelman. Wilson. Wilson on the reach around. Comes into Allison Hall. Foul is called. Uncontested. Disc is reset. Nice high release of pool on the break side. Inzelman with the disc. Gets it off the sideline. Pool. Swanson. Good control from the chain offense. A lot of short passes. Playing the break side. Going across the field. And they keep their lead at 
Jolene Dahl with the pull. The first defensive look for Chain in the second half. That pull goes out of bounds. Again, the wind picking up here. It's a relatively still first half. Now in the second half, as the play is getting heated. Next gen offense with the wind at their back going downfield. It is a upfield, downfield wind. Mick on the sideline. Center to Lance. Jannon. Mickle again. Lance continues it all the way across the field. Jannon has it. Hits DiGirolamo, goes up line, and DiGirolamo around backhand, finding Jacob Jannon. Jannon, good job doing that give and go from the handler position. A quick first step from the player out of Whitman. If he has a step or is even even, he's not going to have any trouble getting past his defender. And as the clouds start to get darker here at Emory College, it looks like on the field we're taking a lightning delay. The second time this has happened in two games. Fortunately, we're already halfway through our game. And the crowd has to clear out the metal stands here in the stadium. Players are getting off the field. As we can see, lightning on the horizon. So we're going to take a break, chance to cover our equipment. Please check back in 20 minutes. We hope to bring you the conclusion of this game as the lightning will die out here in Atlanta, Georgia. Thanks for watching. Sorry for delay. Hope to see you back here in 20 minutes.